Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create fun learning activities for kids. And our fun activities focus on a wide range of subjects, including reading, writing, and math. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Callista, and in today's lesson, we are going to be learning about multimedia. Moreover, we are going to be learning about how to integrate multimedia and visual displays into our presentations so that we can strengthen our claims and evidence, clarify our information, and add interest to our presentations. First off, let's start by defining multimedia. A multimedia presentation is a presentation that includes more than one type of media format. This means that it can include more than one type of artistic or communicative type of expression. Simply put, multimedia is a term for combining multiple different types of multimedia formats. And these formats can range from a wide variety of different options, including text, audio, still images, real-time photographs, animations, and even videos. Examples of different types of visual multimedia formats include infographics, illustrations and drawings, different types of art including clip art, GIF images, videos such as interviews or YouTube videos just like this one that you're watching. It can even include animations and different styles of photography. Now one very, very helpful platform that will allow us to create our presentations and our own presentations combine different multimedia formats is called Google Slides. Now Google Slides is a presentation program and it's free for all Google users. So that means that it can be accessed on all different types of devices, whether you have an Apple product, a Microsoft Windows product, Chromebooks, or any other type of electronic device you'll be able to create your multimedia presentation on. Now before we get started creating our presentations, let's discuss why creating presentations is important in the first place. Well, when we are trying to share information or convey an idea to our audience, it is incredibly important to engage the audience with the material. For example, let's say we were assigned a research report and we had to present it to our class in our history class. Well, rather than just simply reading our typed out research report that we wrote for the class, it would be much more visually appealing and engaging for our audience if we could provide something more visually stimulating, like a presentation in the form of a PowerPoint or a Google Slides. This way we'll be able to present the information in a visual format and we can include different types of colorful text, pictures, videos, and other forms of media that we discussed earlier. And now adding these types of visual aids to our project, we'll be able to strengthen our presentation by clarifying our information, once again strengthening our claims and evidence, and just adding something more creative and interesting for our audience to look at while we're presenting our material. So now that we've covered what multimedia is, and how we can use it to make our own presentations, let's get started and let's start to learn how to add different types of media into our presentation. First off, we're going to go to our web browser. Here I am using Safari, but you can use any web browser that you have at your disposal. Then we're going to click on the search bar up at the top and start typing in Google Slides. Press enter and we're now going to press on the first link that pops up. Now we're going to be redirected to the Google Slides website. And once here, we're going to click on the blue rectangle that says go to Google Slides. Now it is going to take us to the Google Slides homepage. And if you have not already signed into a Google account, it is going to prompt you to sign into a Google account and then you'll be prompted to come to this page here. Once here, click on the plus sign so that we can start a new presentation. So we will first be given the opportunity to create a title slide. We can select different background colors, font styles, and font sizes. We can even select a pre-made theme as the ones shown here to the right of our page. Now, in order to add more slides to the presentation, press on the plus sign at the top left of the corner and a new slide will populate. We can add a title to the top of the slide and we can even add text below it. 
But now in order to add clip art, which is going to be our first form of multimedia that we're going to be learning about today, we are going to first pull up another tab. So I'm going to pull up another Safari tab and here we are going to search up our images. And so I'd like to say that no matter what device you're using, whether it be a laptop or an iPad, it's going to look a little bit differently. But despite whatever device you're using, all we are going to need to do is pull up two tabs side by side so we can drag and drop our clip art. So now the theme of today's example, as you may have seen earlier, was dogs. So we're going to look up dogs free clip art and then press go. And I want to mention that you should ensure that your art is selected as public domain and is not copyright material. The reason why we want to select public domain material is because the clip art is free to use if it is public domain. If something has a copyright policy, it means that it is not free to use, we're not allowed to use it, and you must have a license in order to use such material. So in order to avoid this, simply ensure that you are selecting images that are free and safe to use. So now let's go over here to our Safari tab, and I'm going to click on this website, as I know that this website is providing public domain images. We're going to scroll down and find an, a clip art image that we like. So if, for example, we want to add this one, go ahead and click on it, drag it, and drop it into our presentation. The same thing is going to be the, the pretty much the same thing on all devices. All you have to do is click on it, drag it, and drop it. So now I'm going to get rid of this tab, and you can resize your image, you can move it around, and just like that, we've added a clip art image to our presentation. Now let's go ahead and add another slide. And what we're going to do is learn about our next multimedia format, which is videos. So in order to click on a video and then add it to our presentation, first we're going to want to select insert. Then you're going to want to click on the video option. If you already know the hyperlink that your video has, click on buy URL and go ahead and paste in that link and it'll insert your video. Now for this example, we're going to be using the YouTube search bar that Google Slides provides us. So once again, sticking with the theme of today's example, we're going to look up dogs, click on any video you'd like to select for your presentation, and it'll pop up. You can change the size, you can minimize it, you can maximize it, you can move it around. And over here to our right, we can even add what time we'd like the video to start and stop at. And so go ahead and exit out of there, and just like that, we've added a video to our presentation. Now we are going to learn about GIFs. GIFs are moving videos or animations that loop repeatedly. In order to add a GIF, you're going to look one up along with its theme and the letters GIF in your search engine. So just like what we did with clip art, once again, open a tab up, type in your theme. Our theme today is dogs, and you're going to type in the letters GIF, press go, press images, and now you can select from a wide array of different dog uh, GIFs. And so let's say, for example, we would like to import this one right here. So once again, we're going to click on it and we are going to drag and drop just like that. Get rid of that tab, resize it however large or small you would like. And now our presentation has a GIF or a repeating loop of an image. So now we're going to add another slide so we can learn about our next type of multimedia format. And that is going to be charts or graphs. So in order to add a chart or a graph, press insert, go ahead and click on chart and select any type of chart or graph you'd like to add. For example, since our theme is dogs, let's say we wanted to compare the average heights of different types of dog breeds. And we wanted to show that in a bar graph. We're going to want to click on bar right here and it'll insert a bar graph into our presentation. And now look at here at the bottom left, it says edit in sheets. So as you can see, they gave us examples here. And so if we want to customize it to our specific data points, we're going to click on that edit in sheets or over here, you can click on the image and edit it in Google Sheets and you can edit the specifications there. And then it'll change it however you'd like into the presentation, just like that. So once you update it in Google Sheets, you can move it over to your presentation. Now let's press our add slide again, and we can learn how to add our next type of media. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to add pictures straight from Google Slides. So before we've added animations and GIFs, but if we wanted to add a real photograph, this is how we do it. Press insert, 
press image, which is the first option, and you have a couple of options here. You can upload from your computer. So let's say you took a picture on your own camera and you uploaded it to your computer. You can add it right here by hitting upload from computer, or you can even search from the web, like what we're going to do today. So click on search from the web. Once again, our theme is dog. So we're gonna look up dog pictures and we're going to drag and drop that picture into our presentation. And now we have a very clear photograph of a dog for our presentation. So go ahead and resize it however you'd like. We can make it very large so we can take up the whole slide and press add so we can learn about our next type of format. Now here we're going to learn about how to add a diagram to our presentation. And so we're going to press insert over here and after we've pressed insert, you're going to click on the diagram option. Now on our, the right of our screen, we have a lot of different options. So say for example, with our dog presentation, we wanted to add a family tree of different types of dog breeds. And so you can select a different type of diagram. We've chosen the blue one here. And now you can click on each of the different text boxes and you can edit the text to say whatever you'd like for it to say. So you can customize your diagram to fit your preferences for the presentation. And so now that we've learned about diagrams, it's time to learn about our next format, which is going to be word art. Word art is a feature that allows your text to have different effects when you transition from different slides rather than just having still text. In order to add word art, go ahead and click on insert, then click on the word art option. Now you're going to be prompted to type in the text that you'd like for your presentation to say. So ours is going to say dogs and we're going to press enter. And after that, we are going to be given our text right here. Now go ahead and click animate up here at the top option. And now we can add some effects to our word art. And so there's different effects. We can have it appear, disappear, fade in or out, fly in from the left, fly in from the right, and a whole slew of other options. So for this example, let's have it fly in from the left of our screen. And now you can even choose when you'd like for it to appear, whether you would like to click on it and have it appear, or if you would like to have it appear after you click on your next slide. So I'm gonna click on after previous, and you can even change the speed. Would you like it to be slow, ranging around five seconds, or really fast, being about less than uh, 0.5 seconds, or somewhere here in the middle. I'm gonna choose it in the medium. So now we're gonna press play so we can watch our word artifact. And as you can see, let's go ahead and go back here, animate it again, press play. As you can see, it's going to fly in from the left, just like what we've chosen. All right, so now we've learned how to import a lot of different types of multimedia into our presentations. We learned how to add clip art, videos, GIFs, charts or graphs, real photographs, diagrams, and clip art. And now that we've added all of these different features, something that is important to add is that you should add a reference slide at the end of your presentation. You will want to add all of the hyperlinks of the different materials you used, such as our video or our clip art here, and give credit to the original creators and allow the audience members to be able to refer to any information, material, or a type of animation, image, or other type of multimedia that they may be interested in looking into later. Now, let's put your skills to the test by quizzing your knowledge. So first off, let's address this question. What is multimedia? Pause your video to think of the answer and unpause the video to reveal the correct answer. Did your answer include something that said, multimedia is a term for combining multiple formats? If so, you are correct. Now let's move on to our second question. What are some examples of multimedia? Once again, pause your video to think of the answer and unpause the video to reveal the correct answer. Did you say something similar to text, audio, images, photographs, animations, videos, and more? If so, you are correct. Now that we have learned how to add titles, text, clip art, videos, GIFs, photographs, images, charts, graphs, diagrams, and word art, you can now use all of these skills to create your own engaging presentations from here on out. Well students, it's been great having you engaged with our lesson today. 
I want to take this time to thank you so much for learning with us. We hope you come back very soon and learn some more along with our other America Reads video lessons. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel and we will be back very soon with more learning activities for you. Thank you.